This is the brand new Asus ZenBook Duo, and this is the highest spec out possible version of this laptop. It's running two 14-inch 3K OLED display screens at 120 hertz refresh rate. And at the time of this video, this laptop's not even available for purchase, but it will be shortly in May of 2024. So I am gonna have a link in the description below so you can go ahead and get yourself on the wait list or depending on when you're watching this video, if it's available, you can get it because this laptop is guaranteed to sell out. Now this video is not sponsored by Asus. They did send me this laptop early to review and to keep and to create some other promotional content, on other social media platforms, but this specific video did not have any of their influence. Now this laptop is powered by Windows Windows 11, but I'm not gonna waste any time going over the specs, which are amazing. You get a terabyte of storage, 32 gigs of RAM, and it's running the latest Intel Core 9 processor. But that's not what's important here. What's important is the dual screens of this laptop and the ways that you can interact with it. And there are so many ways, and that's what I wanna go over in this video, because honestly, the Asus ZenBook Duo has literally changed the way that I see laptops forever and how I wanna interact with them moving forward. So let's start talking about all the different ways that we can use this laptop. Now, obviously, it all starts at the keyboard. There is a magnetic keyboard that's attached via pins onto the bottom screen. Now it does come off fairly easily, but not too easily to the point that if you were to shake the laptop or anything like that, it would fall off. That's not gonna happen. It does require some force and some pressure, but again, not too much. So once the magnetic keyboard comes off, it does reveal the second 3K OLED screen underneath this. And once you take the keyboard off, you'll see that the other screen automatically turns on, which is great. Now, a lot of people have asked me, does this keyboard continue to work once it's detached? And the answer is yes, 100%. You can still continue to use this keyboard wirelessly. It does this via Bluetooth, and it's always charging whenever it's attached to the laptop via the pins. So as long as you have your keyboard attached when you're not using your laptop, your keyboard will always be charged, which is just awesome. Now, if this keyboard does run out of battery or you decide to leave it behind for whatever reason and you just bring this laptop with you, brings us to the first way that you can use this laptop and it's actually really cool. Now, if you tap down six fingers onto the bottom keyboard, this reveals a virtual keyboard and this works exactly like your main keyboard, just obviously virtually on the screen without the feedback of any physical keys. Now, you might be wondering what the touch sensitivity on these screens is like. Now, I don't have a scientific number or anything like that for you, but they are razor sharp. There's almost no latency. It feels exactly like the latest iPhone or the iPad if you use any of those types of devices. It literally doesn't feel like there's any lag whatsoever and they work flawlessly, which I really, really love. Oh, and before I forget, if you actually tap three more fingers, then you can unlock the trackpad in the corner just in case you want the feeling of a trackpad. But of course, just like an iPad or any other touch device, you can touch anywhere on the screen using that as your cursor if you need to if you forget your keyboard. Now you might not have noticed it but we've actually already covered two different ways that you can use this laptop. The first one being the traditional method with the keyboard on like we saw at the beginning of this video and the second method is with this virtual keyboard and virtual trackpad. Now let's move on to method number three and you might have noticed that the laptop is now standing and that's because they have a really strong kickstand built into this laptop it's pretty much metal. And I gotta say its inclusion is just absolutely genius. And this is actually my personal favorite way to use this laptop with these two 14 inch dual screens stacked. So what I do is I turn off that virtual keyboard and now I have two monitors stacked back to back on top of each other. And they work as screen uh, mirrors displays, extensions, however you want them. I like to use them in extension mode. So you have basically one giant screen like you would at home, maybe working on a monitor. And that's usually my biggest issue whenever I'm traveling. I miss my larger Apple Studio display screen that I'm used to using at home and all that screen real estate that I get when I'm editing. So whenever I'm on the go and I'm forced to focus in onto this small screen laptop, it becomes really hard and it feels really, really cramped. So the ZenBook Duo really solves that problem with these extended displays and this is an absolute workhorse for productivity and getting work done and of course the keyboard and the trackpad wirelessly still work so now you basically just have these two 14 inch 3k OLED screens stacked on top of each other and you just have so much real estate to work on I just absolutely love this mode this is my favorite okay so moving on to method number four which I think is really cool is that you can work vertically on both of these screens and it's really easy to activate all you have to do is just turn the laptop to its side and the OS will automatically calibrate. It knows that you're working vertically and it's just going to switch these screens to make them in that orientation. 
Again, this works for both the left and the right screen. They work as extensions or mirrors or whatever you want. Now, this is super useful if you do coding or anything like that. I obviously don't do any kind of coding, so I don't really use it in that method, but it's great to have something that you're reading on one side or maybe watching a video on the other side. What I think is really cool is that if I just grab it, I can now walk around with this laptop like a book and basically have two applications running side by side, which I think is really awesome for multitasking and is a really cool way to work and has really changed the way that I view laptops because I generally don't work vertically on a laptop, but having two vertical screens has been really cool. Now, I also wanna show you this other trick and this works both in method number three, which is the stacked monitors or the vertical uh, method that I'm showing you right now. But if you have a window open and you wanna expand it to both screens, you just go with five fingers like this and now it has your application open on both screens. It literally mirrors it to both sides. I think I closed it right there. There we go. So now it's covered on both screens, which is really cool because this can act as a single large monitor. Obviously there is a fold in the middle. So Galaxy device users will feel right at home. If, you use, uh, if you've used one of those Galaxy devices, you know that there's a bit of a separation even though that's getting better. Obviously in a laptop, that's a lot more apparent. So you will obviously see that. Um, that's why I personally like to work in the stacked original uh, monitor mode that we showed right before this. That's my preferential method for working in full screen, but I just think it's a cool feature that Asus included if you just wanted to use one app on both screens at once. And finally, we have method number five, and this is the last way that I personally found on how to use this laptop. So if you do discover an extra method, make sure you comment it down below so I can test it out. And this is gonna be really cool if you're in a profession where you always need to share your screen with somebody else in person. So if you're a lawyer or you're a real estate agent and you're always showing someone your laptop, and you need them to sign documents or anything like that in person, this is gonna be really cool and it's called share mode. Now it's pretty easy to activate. I'm gonna see if I can do this while facing the screen, but there is a little app here. You turn this on and there's an icon down here which has display screen and then you get a few options for how you want the orientation. Usually the one-to-one -one flipped makes the most sense because that's what's gonna show the other person across you your screen. Now this is really cool because now if I turn on this document, that let's just say I want a client of mine or someone to sign, this exact same document is also facing them and it's flipped. So they're gonna see everything that I'm doing and vice versa as well, because if I wanna interact on this side and show maybe the lawyer or the real estate agent what I'm looking at or what I'm concerned about in a specific document, you can do that. Now obviously the idea is, is that you wouldn't have it like this. You would put the kickstand down, you would flatten out the screen and now whoever is across me is gonna be seeing the exact same thing as me and basically just working off that document. I think this is such a clever use case, especially for professionals who need to meet in person and have someone sit across them and they just don't want them maybe next to them and getting super cramped. This is a really, really clever situation to work and to collaborate effectively. Okay, so now I've got the laptop back in kickstand mode and I quickly wanna talk about these two screens because they're both Corning Gorilla Glass. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what that that is, it's basically a new type of glass that has been coming out on the latest tech products like the Galaxy S24 Ultra, and it's basically super durable and super scratch resistant. Now for my testing of that phone and this laptop, and I'm pretty rough with my tech, the screen has absolutely no scratches everywhere on my S24 Ultra or on this laptop, which I think says a lot. Now I also want to talk about battery life and I will say the A2 Zenbook Duo has all day battery life regardless of how you use it, which I think is really impressive. Now based on Asus and my own testing, you get around 13 hours of video playback if you have the keyboard attached and you're only using one screen. Now if you do take the keyboard off and you're using both screens, you're gonna get around 10 hours of video playback, so three less, but obviously that's to be expected. You're using two super strong 3K 14 inch OLED screens, again, that are at 120 hertz refresh rate. But for me, honestly, the coolest part of using this laptop has been the experience. We're so used to seeing the same tech products in every single category year over year. It's the same laptops, they look the same, they have the most incredible specs, and they all run awesome, but the experience is the same. So I really like what Asus has done here with the ZenBook Duo 
taking a leap forward. This is the world's first dual screen laptop at 14 inches and at 3K. So this is the absolute best quality that you can get on these screens. And obviously both the videos I had playing were on YouTube and now they have ads running. So that's an awesome distraction. But I do think that the way that I've started to interact with this laptop has really made me think about the future. And I just realized this is an ad within an ad. If you've seen an ad on this YouTube video, which is kind of like adception. But like I was saying, this has made me really excited for the future and what laptops can be and what I think laptops can be now. This has really changed the way that I'm thinking. So it would be really cool if other laptop companies took inspiration from this specific device and brought it to their own and decided to start to push the limits and really see how they can change this industry that hasn't really changed since the beginning. But anyways, that's it for me. That's it for this video. Hopefully you guys learned something and you enjoyed seeing all the different ways you can use the ASUS ZenBook Duo. Again, if that has interested you in purchasing this laptop because the lower spec model of this came out right before this one and it got sold out instantly and it's impossible to get now. And I think the exact same thing is gonna happen with this one because this one is has better specs, has the better screen resolution. It's just better in every single way. So it's definitely gonna get sold out as well. So like I said, the description will be in the link below. It's not an affiliate link, so I'm not getting anything out of it. I'm just trying to help you guys out. But anyways, like I said, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, keep creating.